remind me of a Sunday back home in Old Kentucky where the church choir just built into the pine. I love you like the mountains, the most way in the morning opens and the soft and bright returns to the sun. Into the second half of the song, which is basically the same as the first half with um, different words. <laughs> okay, so let's get through it. Okay, um, this uh, is, I say, it's not particularly easy. This one, um, it's, uh, it's it's very individualistic uh, the way he plays it. Uh, the timing is uh, as he wants. It's uh, he varies it, and uh, some of the bits are different on each version. Time he plays it, so. Uh, this is my best take on it, okay? So the introduction, basically I'm playing a G and I'm hammering up initially to that second fret on the fourth, okay? Go back to the G and then we do a do that, so so it's so another hammer up to the G Open, fourth, then second on the fifth, okay? And then we go into this uh, bitty place quite often in this song is. And it's basically an F shape. You hit the third on the fourth, then you hammer into that second on the third, along with the um, double stop playing the second string as well. Okay, so to a C chord, hitting the third on the fifth, and do the same, but hammer into the second on the fourth, playing it with the third string open. So it's, and into a G chord, and then into this, um, that sort of hammering into a C with G in the bass. So it's basically you keep your sixth string on the third and your pinky on the third on the first and you hammer into those two like an A, a minor seventh shape. First on the second and uh, second on the fourth. It's basically a C chord with G in the bass. Okay, okay so the introduction so far is this. Okay. Again, slowly for you. Okay, so the first time he goes, I uh, just uh, do it again. Hammers into this G C chord, and then before going back to the G, you don't go back to the G. You play the F to C, back to the G again, and then do another. This time you do go back to the G. Okay, so from the beginning. Then there's a bit of a pause and he starts singing, you remind me, okay? So once again, very slowly, the whole intro, okay? So it's two eight, sorry. And 
you start singing, you remind me, uh, you remind me is A minor, you remind me, it's a single strum, the one the version I'm doing anyway. You remind me of, so then he builds up to the C, that second on the fifth, okay, up to the C chord, and it's a hammer. He does a lot of this in this song, this, this C shape hammers into that second on the fourth, okay, a lot of the time, okay. So you remind me. Sunday back home in old Kentucky. Never strut, another. So he just basically a single that sort of thing. So it's you remind me of a Sunday back home in old Kentucky. And then we go to a G to F bar chord and then back to the C with a hammer on. Okay, so the whole thing. From the beginning, uh, let's go from the first line. So you remind me of a Sunday back home in Old Kentucky, where the church choirs are just bending to the pine. And back into the A minor again, and I love you like the mountains up to the sea again. Of ways in the morning opens to the sea. Okay, so it basically repeats the whole thing again, two halves of the first verse, okay? So from the beginning of the song, right from the intro, okay? suspended C suspended fourth with adding pinky to the third fret third fret of the fourth string so and then another hammer so it goes comes out of that uh, to the sea, to the sun and then he does a quick that sort of chord I think it is some sort of F with an open third string, or sort of F ninth or something. So it's like an F chord with a first string open and the third string open. So you've just got third on the fourth, first on the second, okay? Okay? And that's where it goes, if you'd make me stay, G. And then this uh, C chord again with the G in the bass. One of those again. So it comes out of that uh, to soft and bright greetings from the sun. If you like to stay. Okay, that sort of thing. Then it goes into I wouldn't act so angry, and it goes I wouldn't act so angry, and that's a rundown from A minor uh, from C down to A minor. So it goes stays on G. I wouldn't, and on act, act so angry, act so, so it's act so angry, so third on the fifth, second on the fifth, A minor, that's act so angry all the time, okay, so from that bit uh, where it goes too soft, so it goes to soft and bright greetings from the sun. the build up to C, second on the fifth, back up to C, hammer, into the C, so angry all the time, I would, I would keep it all inside, and another G, let you know, F bar chord, help you every hammer into the C, another up to another suspended, and then another one of these, so darling, don't you stay right here. So darling, stay right here. Otherwise, that sort of thing, okay? So 
So darling, stay right. Darling, will you stay right here? Okay. So the front beginning of that again to sort from the end of the first verse where it goes uh, soft and bright greetings from the sun. the frost A minor and then off is that second on the on the fifth again. So frost off and my G pins. That's just that's that, that C shape again with G in the bass. Okay that so from the beginning that's the whole second section of the song uh, from the end of the first verse where it goes to a soft and bright so um to soft and bright greetings from the sun. So if Maggie stayed, I wouldn't act so angry all the time. Inside, I just love you, I just love you every day. So darling, stay right here. Does this okay in between the verses? It does that so after it comes out of that uh, and take the and shake the force. This time he does this little run. Yeah. So that's basically just when he gets that F as usual to the G and then open fifth string. So first open fifth, first on the fifth, second on the fifth, so it's Open fourth, open third, and then into that again, and then there's a spell up to the C. That's a uh, G in the bass. Okay, so the whole thing after it comes out of that and shake the frost off my bone. So, um, so it comes, um, darling, stay right here, shake the frost. So it's uh, pretty tricky this song, hopefully I've covered most of it and uh, I say listen to the original uh, version and you'll see exactly where all the timing is, it's, it, you have to listen to the timing and it's quite slow this song, it's quite easy to play it too fast and then you can't, you trip over yourself <laughs> trying to get all the bits in. <laughs> okay, anyway thank you very much for watching this, hope that helps you out and I'll see you in the next video.